everybody called me Pumpsy from day one, as far as I'm concerned. I didn't know my name was Elijah until I went to school. Pumpsy Green's memory of how he got his nickname is a little fuzzy. The memory of his career as one of baseball's African-American pioneers is truly vivid. Here I am with the Red Sox right there. Not Green was the first black player in the Boston organization to crack the major leagues. In July of 1959, they were the final team to integrate. Twelve years after, Jackie Robinson took the field for the Brooklyn Dodgers. Their ideas and this wasn't as fast as other people's ideas. Green grew up in El Cerrito, went to college in the East Bay, and played minor league ball for the Oakland Oaks. The Red Sox purchased his contract in 1955 and was set to make Boston's opening day roster after a monster spring in 59. Hell, Ted Weaver was he could have had that kind of spring that I had. I mean, I was fabulous. I was great. But he was sent to the minors because of his skin color. It wasn't until months later that the Red Sox hand was forced to call up their hottest player. Pumpsy's first at bat came on the road against White Sox future 300 game winner, Early Win. Got in the box and uh, got through a pitch, his foot outside, the umpire said it was a strike. The next one was foot and a half outside, the umpire said it was a strike. And I just got out of the back box and took a deep breath and told myself, wherever the next pitch is, I'm swinging. And the uh, next pitch was high and outside. So I reached up and hit it a nice, easy ground ball to Nelly Fox at second base. And that was devastating. And I said, now, if things goes like this, oh, well, I'm going to ask them to send me back where I was because I was having fun. But Pumpsy was there to stay. On July 24th, he made his debut in Boston in front of a standing room only crowd at Fenway Park. Thousands of African Americans tried to get in. The lucky ones got a spot in center field to see their new second baseman. On my way up to home plate, and all the blacks out there just hands up, just jumping and yelling. And, and I'm saying to myself, boy, Pumps, uh, you can appreciate this standing ovation, but kid, don't strike out it had to walk all the way back to the dugout. The third pitch, I hit a shot up high off the left center field fence, and I slid in the third base with a triple. And the whole stands went, went crazy. I mean, it was really another standing ovation. And that was great. And that took a lot off my mind for that particular time. But life was never easy for any black man living in a racially divided era, let alone being a public figure. And they yell out things, uh, uh, you know, you talk about your mama, your daddy, your dog, and your cat, really, uh, about anything. I can tell you, I never, never, all while I was there, I never felt comfortable. I just didn't. Green says teammates were, for the most part, supportive. Green considers Ted Williams to be his first friend in Boston. Their friendship began during an incident with a Chicago sports writer. He asked Ted, Ted, what do you think about Pumpsy being here? And Ted went for his throat, not physically, but he cussed him out and told him often, telling him not ever, asked him something like that. What's wrong with you? Don't you have any whatever, you know? What do you, what do you mean, ask me what I think about Pumpsy being here? What do you think I think, you, you know? Yeah. And Ted really let him have it. And that, and that guy just went on out of the room and that, that uh, made him my friend, really.